what is up? Okay, so I was telling everybody that I got all of the charging and testing done for all the batteries that I ran through all four different chargers. I want to find out which one is the most accurate and I want to check for consistency. However, whenever I first started this test, of course I didn't have the, the Lidocala and I was only doing the three chargers and the Lidocala came a little bit later. That's not the problem. Well, part of the problem is, is I found out later that the Lidocala only discharges at 500 milliamps. 500 milliamps. I, I'm guessing I just misunderstood the directions because it did say something about 500 milliamps, but it was only under one of the other charging steps or whatever. It didn't mention it in the normal capacity test mode. So that's why I assumed it did it at one amp. So it doesn't do that. It is 500 milliamps or a half of an amp. That's my bad, but I do still stand by all of the other statements I made in that video is I think that charger is a super, super good budget charper. Charper. I just said charper. I do still stand by all of the other statements in there regarding the charger because it is a really good charger. It's a budget charger. And whenever I say cheap, I don't mean crappy. I mean inexpensive. It is still an affordable charger. And like I said, if I would have found that charger when I first started this whole 18650 fiasco, I would have gotten at least five or six of those because I think it does a great job. Regarding all of the testing, I started, of course, doing that video. I wrote down all the numbers on some piece of paper. I know, paper. And I'm looking at all the numbers and I forgot a key factor. I don't have like a constant or I don't have something to base the test off of. Since I was using all used cells, I mean, I could find the number that's brand new for those cells, but I don't have anything to, to base the test off of. Basically, I just did, basically I did 300 tests. The Lidocala, I did four cells. I ran each cell five times each, one right after another, and then I rotated them to the next charger. I did that through each charger. All right, so I have a page for the Lidocala. I have a page for the Opus. I have a page for the Extar Dragon. And I have a page for the Fox Novo. And then there was a suggestion, I believe it was by Keith, basically put a cell in each charger and do the test once and then rotate it to the next charger. So then I did that five times in a row as well. So then I've got another page with all of those tests on it as well. I did all of these tests at one amp discharge and that was basically because I assumed that the Lidocala did its discharge at one amp. All right, so now that I was wrong in that, I mean, I could still use these numbers for something, but I'm not going to at this moment. I am going to redo all the tests. I'm probably not gonna do as many sets Cells. I am going to order brand new cells so I have an exact number to start with. And I'm going to do all of them at a half of an amp since the Lidocala can only do a half an amp. There's three different tests I am planning on doing. Two of them are the same as the last test where I'm going to take two cells in each charger and do that same discharge test at a half of an amp. I'm going to do that repeatedly, probably. I don't know if I'm going to do five times because since it's half an amp, it's gonna take forever. So I might do that three to five times, okay? And then I'm gonna rotate to the next charger and do the exact same tests. And then after that, you know, continue on to the next charger. So basically it'll get four rounds, one through each charger, okay? That'll be like test one. And then the very next test will be starting over in the same order again. I'm gonna put the same two cells in each charger. I'll do the half amp discharge capacity check one time and then I'll rotate to the next charger and I'll do that X amount of times. That'll be test two. And then possibly test three is I am gonna take four brand new cells and I'm gonna put one cell cell in each charger and I'm going to do the capacity check on half an amp again and then I'm going to move over to the next slot over in the same charger and I'm going to do bay 2 then bay 3 then bay 4 and maybe I'll do that X amount of times. 
I could even possibly do a test where there's only one cell in the charger and then I could do the next test and fill the charger type of thing. That's what I'm thinking at least. I think it would be a more accurate test because I will have an actual number to go by since all the cells will be brand new. I don't know, what do you guys think of that? Of course, I can include all of these results in that video or if somebody wants to make sense of all of these tests, I can put it in some sort of Excel sheet or something and email it to you if you want to see it. But just keep in mind, there's 300 tests, okay? 300 tests. And if you do want all of these test results, give me a couple of days, of course, so I can put them in some sort of spreadsheet. Put a comment down below or send me a private message, send me an email. You don't have to put your email in the comment because, I mean, you can do that if you really want to. Some people do that. If you send me an email, it kind of keeps it a little bit more private if you don't want your email out there for the rest of the world you know I mean my email is out there for the rest of the world but at least you have to like kind of look for it so yeah comment below send me a private message I'd be happy to send that to you all right so if you guys have any other suggestions for that test put the comments down below because I'd love to hear it and then maybe we can come up with a good solid consensus of what we kind of want to get out of the whole test and then I will go from there all right I don't really know what else to tell you so I will see you guys on the next one I can put all of these, um, do the, um, um,